spring has sprung, and before you know it, our region's lakes and rivers will be chock full of people looking to do a little fishing, but they won't be the only ones out on the water. Biologists will be there, too, doing something called electrofishing. More now from Regina Orsani in tonight's Eye on the Environment. Around this time each year, teams of experts from the Tennessee Valley Authority, or TVA, comb the Chickamauga Reservoirs with one goal, reeling in large scales of fish to make sure the population stays afloat. Like today, for instance, if we don't get any five or six, seven inch fish, that means that we didn't have a good year of spawning last year. So we need to see the small fish as well as the big, the larger ones. Ditching the bait, these experts tackle sporting bass and crappie with electrofishing. It's a technique that sends electric pulses into the water, temporarily paralyzing the fish. For 15 years, TVA's been scooping stunned stranglers off the banks of the Tennessee River's main reservoirs, trolling for disease. We didn't get that many we might need a little more water in there. Yeah, we go on. Today, they filled buckets of fish to get weighed and checked for parasites or bacteria. And landing healthy fish helps keep the economy in the game. Wolf Tever Creek is just one of the many places along the river where the popularity of bass fishing continues to swim upstream. A sport that TVA says spawns tens of thousands of dollars if the fish are swimming. The economic impact from a sport fishery standpoint is that once you have a good fishery, that's going to bring the fishermen and anglers and the tournaments. An economic impact we all could get hooked on if TVA keeps finding fish like these. Reporting for Richard French Live, I'm Regina Orsania.